Quite a common component which uh, sometimes needs to be changed on these is the, uh, the lock barrel and the aerial. Um, this is the aerial that picks up the um, key signal. It doesn't come off the barrel. Now the bodgy way to do it is what this guy's done here and it's a second hand barrel with a, a different key and um, wants it all on one key so that's what we're doing for him on a freezing cold night. Um, I'm going to show you on the desk how to do it better. You have to get the ignition to the on position. Slide our little pin in. And it has to go in quite a long way. And you'll feel when it goes in. Right, it is... It is out. It has released. It will just come out of this cowling. If I had to take it off, you can just get it out. And there's the little plug for the aerial. So we're going to whip that out. And uh, there's the lock barrel out. And uh, we'll go to the bench and I'll show you what we're going to do. We can take uh, safely take this key out now. See uh, the next bit. Here's the steering lock removed. Now the mission is to get the barrel out of the lock and if you can see this small little gap here that's where we're going to slide a piece of wire down um, this is the wire that I'm using it's uh, piano wire you can use a paper clip straighten it out uh, let's see what size this is it's, um, it's a cheap pair of paraphernias <laughs> Uh, don't buy garbage verniers. Right, I'll be back in one blurry image with Old Faithful. 30, 40 year old verniers, much better. I can't display you the size so well, but um, yeah, we can see that that is hanging in there. It's about one millimeter diameter. So that has got to be slid down the pin, pinhole there. So to start with, um, you've got to slide a key in. Now you can't get this to position one, as in auxiliary as we used to call it. So what we have to do is put the ignition on. So it gets to there. Then we slide the pin down. Like so. We're going to give it a, a little wriggle to get it all the way. And you should feel the pin retract. And when you can, it's going to pull out. And it's really hard to judge how far you have to go. There. Did you, if you saw that go all the way in, I'm going to put a little mark on the uh, wire there with my thumb and I'm going to pull it out and then we're going to measure how far exactly that has to go in. Right, so the wire has to go in fifty three millimeters or thereabouts. Let's just put that in again. So, wire in. And then, once that wire is in, it's holding the pin down. You just pull it out. Uh, don't turn this, anything in there, with the uh, lock barrel out, or you'll have trouble. So, this is what the uh, the wire is doing. You can see that's all the way through and it's holding this bit down there retracted. So with the wire out, it pings up like that and that's what locks the barrel into place. And with the ignition off, um, you can see that doesn't go down all the way. Let's see if we can get a good view of that this side. It doesn't go down all the way, it protrudes up. Now when I put the ignition to the on position, it drops down, and then again in the crank position it goes up. So it has to be in that position. 
which is when the ignition is on. Um, there's probably a little mark on the aerial, but you can't really rely on it. It's more or less level with that pin. Um, now this is the uh, this is the good lock barrel that matches the car we want to put in, and you can see what's happened is when the customer's taken the uh, um, steering lock off, he's cut it through here rather than cutting the shear bolts or putting uh, points on there and either using a spring chisel or a centre punch and a hammer or whatever you like, they've cut through it and they've managed to cut through the aerial and you can just see the copper wires there. So what I've got to do, I've got to take the um, temporary one off the car, take the the aerial or the antenna off this one and throw it away, take the one off the other ignition barrel which is the good working aerial but it's got the wrong barrel and uh, assemble it onto here and that's uh, the time where we're going to need a special tool. This, uh, this is pressed on here, the plastic re releases from uh, this metal uh, washer here and uh, that's the next job. This is the tool we're going to be using, it's uh, just this little tool. Um, there's two sizes, you've got to choose the size which uh, fits the lock and uh, if you can see that fits perfectly into there and it's just a case then that rounded end of the punch to knock that out and that will leave the aerial completely undamaged. So we're going to put that on there. The camera's going to jump up and down a little bit when I knock this out but you'll uh, hope to get the gist so we put that on there and with a nice little whack on something firm. Are you still there? There's the aerial. There's the lock barrel. So um, this is the lock barrel we want to use. This is the aerial that we don't want to use because it's damaged. And I'm going to try now to repeat that on the other one. So put that on there. Put on something firm. Make the camera jump. Good aerial and not wanted, not wanted lock barrel. So now we've got the good lock barrel and we've got this aerial, so we have to decide where we want it. And that literally just has to press onto there now. And then to press it in, I'm just going to use good old faithful quick release vise. I get it in there carefully and it doesn't take a lot of pressure to pop them on. If it ain't going to go on nicely, stop. If it doesn't go on square, stop. Remove it and keep doing it until it pops on. Now, got the good aerial installed on the lock barrel, and now the key that we want to use in it now turns. So now all we've got to do is pop it back onto the car. Right, putting it back in. First thing we've got to do is oop, fist the little wire out for the uh, for the aerial antenna. Plug it in. We're going to get the key in the correct position just to make things line up. These pegs have got to line up with those. So if you remember we uh, had that little pin lining up where it was um, in the position to uh, take the lock barrel out. So we're just going to feel it, make sure it goes in that position. And these all line up. We don't need the, um, the wiring anymore. It'll go in without. We just need to just help that down a little bit when it goes back in and a little bit of wriggling and that'll come out. Right. Let's get that in the right place. Mm. 
and then we just have to ease it in and once it's in we'll feel the lock barrel it will click nicely normally it'll click nicely it's clicked in now once it's in you'll see you'll be able to turn the key and uh, get the key in and out right she's home let's see if it starts oh so turn the key and what do we have ignition lights no key warning we're alive so that's how you change the lock barrel ignition lock barrel and the immobilizer antenna on many Volkswagen cars Seat, Skoda, Audi, VW they all use this system